friends. Today I am going to be showing you how to create two looks using this fingerprint covered product. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. Today I'm going to be using it to show you how to do just a really quick and easy work appropriate makeup. So something that you can pop on every morning before work. It really doesn't take that long to do. And then I'm also going to show you how to jazz it up, smoke it up a little bit for an evening look if you're going to be going out for dinner or drinks or something after work. So I'm starting this tutorial with my base and brows already done because I'm doing yet another first impressions review of a foundation today. I'm testing out the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. But as usual, I will just quickly go through everything I've used just so you're up to date. So as I said, for foundation, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC20. And I also use this as concealer. So I just use the pointy end of a beauty blender just to blend that up under my eyes. And it actually did a pretty great job just by itself. And to set the concealer under my eyes, I'm using the True Match powder in N1. And this has a tiny bit of coverage in it, so it just adds an extra bit of brightness under the eyes. And to set everywhere else on my skin, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Finishing Powder. To prime my eyes, I'm using a brand new MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I have been threatening to buy one of these for months, and look at how new and flawless it is. It's like cracking the foil on the top of a coffee jar. And for my brows, as per usual, I'm using my Sigma Brow Powder in the color Medium, and then just brushing through with the Anastasia Brow Gel in Blonde. And you're up to date. So this is what we are going to be using today, the new Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. I really love the idea of this product. You've got all your face and eye things in here in one really handy for traveling. I've already had a little bit of a play with it and so far I really, really like it. Also, packaging is awesome. Look how big that mirror is, even though it's covered in fingerprints. I'm gonna do my eyes first and then we'll finish with color on the face. First, I'm gonna take the Eye Brighten shade, number one, and I'm just gonna dust that lightly all over, but not quite under my, right under my eyebrow. I'll just kind of bring it to slightly above my crease. This color actually comes out quite pink on me, which you can see, which is a kind of nice transition shade. It's quite, it's like almost an orangey pink on my skin, um, but definitely not, not a neutral enough color to use as a base shade on my skin. Next, I'm gonna go into shade two, which is a lovely, slightly pinky, um, like rose gold kind of shade with a lovely gold shimmer. Oh, somebody's at my door, excuse me. It's a very soft sheen, actually very daytime appropriate. It's not, it's not a foiled or uber metallic kind of shadow. I kind of want a little bit more of a metallic sheen, so I'm just gonna use my middle finger. Just use that to pop some color on the lid. Your fingers are the best tool for applying metallic shadows if you want to get the most out of, like the most shine out of it. And I'm going to take some of that around the inside corner. And finally, I'll take number three, which is this eye smoke shade. Buff that onto the outside half of the eye and into the socket. And I'm going to take that same smoke shade on the 217 again, run that lightly along the lower lash line. Now I don't wear eyeliner every single day and I know when you're getting ready to go to work it can be a little bit of a faff and almost a little bit stress inducing to do eyeliner so absolutely skip this step if you want. I just find eyeliner on my eyes to be the single most impactful step to really make my eyes look bigger and more awake and brighter, especially when I'm using quite warm shades around my eyes like these. So I am gonna put on a little bit of eyeliner. I'm using pencil though, because it is the most forgiving and I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Pencil because it's nice and soft, so I can smudge it in, which hopefully will cause a little bit less stress. If I make a mistake, it's no big deal. So I'm just dragging that, holding the pencil um, sideways, so I'm really using the edge of the nib, not the pointy end. Just dragging that along the roots of the lashes. I'm just making it a bit thicker on the outside. And then I'll take that 217 brush, just go back and forth to blend it out. For 
my mascara today, I'm gonna to use a new one for me. This is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. Oh, it's very black. Yeah, that is an underwhelming mascara for my lashes. I'm just gonna take some of the excess product off the one before I do my bottom lashes. I just realized I probably should have done the color on my skin before I did the mascara, but hey ho. So first I'm gonna take some of the bronze shade and use that to bronze. I like this bronzer actually. It's not too warm or orangey. It's almost a cool brown, which I think is nice if you're very fair. I'm just using my beauty blender to blend away any edges. This is daytime makeup, so you don't wanna have like crazy stripey contour, unless that's what you're going for. That's totally your prerogative, but I like my skin to look like, maybe that could actually be her skin. I don't know, maybe I'm delusional. I don't think anyone's skin looks like this. And next I'm gonna do the highlight, and I'll just try to have a restrained hand, again, because it's daytime, even though all I wanna do is like, buff this all over every inch of my face, but I won't. Just lightly run that along the top of the cheekbones and I'm actually just gonna use that brush just to lightly pop it on the brow bone. And there are two blush shades in here. There's the swoosh and the pop. So it's the same as her individual blushes. There's kind of two rings of color. One is the swoosh and one is the pop. So I'm gonna do the swoosh first, which is the darker one. And just start at the apple of my cheeks and um, just blend it back the cheekbone a little bit. It's a lovely warm pink, warm dusky pink. And then there's the pop, which is just a really, really beautiful bright pink. So this just goes right on the apples of the cheeks. And for my lips, I'm gonna keep it really simple, something that you could easily pop in your handbag and just apply as you need to during the day. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Baby Tint in Poppin' Poppy. This is beautiful. It's a really lovely, like surprisingly bright pink, but it's a beautiful balmy texture. Balmy. And I think that is a really wearable and fresh looking makeup that you could wear every day for work. And it really doesn't take that long to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do just to nighttime this look up a little bit is take that eyeliner again and I'm gonna tight line my eyes. This is like the quickest way to turn your makeup into a more dramatic glam look. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time because this pencil kind of sets. So this gives me a chance to blend it in. And I'm gonna use that uh, look in a palette again and go into the dark brown or the medium brown really it is and on a pencil brush, smudge that lower lash line. So kind of smudge the pencil into the eyeliner and then drag it down a little bit. So pretty much straight away, we've got a smoky eye. With that same pencil brush, I've just got a piece of tissue on my table. I'm just giving it a quick wipe off. I'm gonna go into the face highlight shade just cause this is a little bit brighter and just pop that on that inside corner again and drag it back along that lower lash line a tiny bit. That's gonna do it. I'm not gonna add any more eyeshadow, just, you could, you absolutely could, but we're trying to keep this simple. What I would do instead is either add a pile more mascara, because at that point, you know, if you've been working for like eight hours, your mascara probably has faded a little bit, so add another hour of mascara, or if you are skilled enough and confident enough, pop on a pair of false lashes. It may seem like it's a lot of effort for after work drinks, but if you really do wanna just like open up your eyes again and really lift the whole look, false lashes is actually a relatively quick way of doing that because you don't really need to do much else to the rest of your makeup. So the lashes that I'm using are just cheapo, crappy eyelashes that I got on eBay. They're not the greatest, but they'll work for something like this. And I'm actually gonna cut about maybe four bunches from the end because I don't want these to extend the whole way across my eye. I want them to sit mostly on the outside, maybe two thirds, which makes it a lot easier to apply and a lot quicker to put on and much more comfortable to wear. I'm using lash glue that came with a set of false eyelashes that I bought because actually the lash glue that you get usually in false lash sets is pretty good. So it's great. It's a great thing to be able to pop in your handbag for situations like this.
And then final step, you could of course use the same lip again. I personally would prefer something that's a little bit more nude with this eye look, so I'm just gonna pop on a nude gloss. This is from Gorgeous Cosmetics and it's called Nude. And that is the finished nighttime look. And if you are truly terrible at putting on false lashes, but you really like the idea of it, why not bring two pairs to work and get a colleague to help you, get one of your girlfriends in work to put them on you and then you can put the other set on her and you can have like a nice girl time in the bathroom putting lashes on each other. Great way to make friends. And trust me, it is so much easier to put lashes on somebody else than it is on yourself. So before I go, I just wanna give you a quick overview of my thoughts on this palette. So I do think it is, it's a very beautiful, object like it's just lovely it's got a lovely kind of weightiness to it it feels like it's beautiful quality i think the color selection is really well thought out and i think the types of product that they put in here is is great and very practical um, i think they're definitely daytime daytime appropriate very wearable shades so i feel like this is going to appeal more to somebody that either likes to wear very very natural makeup or somebody that travels a lot and doesn't want to have to bring like a whole like kilo of makeup with them everywhere they go. Somebody that's maybe starting out in makeup and doesn't like to be too crazy or adventurous. Or somebody that's never owned Charlotte Tilbury before but wants to try out a few different products without having to spend a fortune buying them all individually. I think this would be great for that. I don't think that this is a product that your average makeup junkie is going to really benefit from just because I think... If you're really big into makeup, you probably own these products individually or at least something very similar. Like there's nothing extraordinary about any of the individual products. Definitely not an essential item if you already have quite a large makeup collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my daily vlog channel. I am up to like day 30 or 35 or something. I've kind of lost count. I'm I'm secretly, not so secretly, I'm quite proud of myself, I must admit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. We're very close. Well, we have to be in the frame. All right. Look! Keep going! <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Ah, okay. I recommend this. 10 out of 10. Oh, hey, you know what? That's totally waterproof. Uh, are you sure? Okay, okay the faint. <laughs> <laughs> I totally would have sprayed me again if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>